hi guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how to make a ball dress for a child so you know christmas is around the corner and i thought this tutorial might be helpful to someone so let's get right to it so i'll be using this doll face material for the dress and i folded it into two and i'm just measuring to make sure her bust measurement is going to contain my folding so the next thing i did was to draw a line which is going to serve as my starting point then i placed my tape roller on it and I measured her armhole. Her armhole, you can get your armhole by dividing your bust measurement by 6 and adding 1.5. So the third line you see there is her half length. Her half length is 10 plus 1 inches, making 11. And that 1 inches will be for the allowance. So the next thing I did was to mark her shoulder measurement her shoulder measurement divided by two so you're going to mark it at your shoulder line and at your armhole then you just place your your bust circumference your bust circumference divided by four plus two inches so that's what i did and i did the same thing for the waist i divided her waist measurement by four plus two inches so the other line i just drew her armhole curve then for the neck i'll be using two by two and a half sorry i used two by two for her neckline so right now i just measured half inches and i'm going to draw my slanted line That's my shoulder slant. So right now I'm just cutting it. So this is for the front. So right now the next thing for us to do is to cut the back so we're just going to be placing this front to cut the back the only difference is we're going to add our zip allowance that's the only difference between the back and the front So we're going to place it like this you make sure your zip allowance is if you're using one inch you make sure it's one inch if you're using half inch for your zip you make sure it's half inches then for the back neckline i made the depth just one inches and the width is still the same thing as the front that is two inches So right now I'm just cutting it. So for this ball dress, we're going to be using, for the down part, we're going to be using three things. We'll be using a doll face, we'll be using a net, and we'll be using an organza flowered material. So I'm going to be showing you the three of them. 
so that's what and we're going to be using the hard net too and the lining of course to make it more fuller at the down so the next thing for us to do is to cut a long a long straight material we're going to be planting it this is for the down part so you can cut maybe you can cut 60 times 2 or 6 yeah 60 times 2 is okay then the length let me say the length of this one i'm sewing right now is 29 inches and we remove 10 inches for the half length so remaining 19 inches so that's how you're going to calculate it the amount of fabric you need for your for the down part of it so for me now i'll be using 18 inches and that 18 inches is plus my allowance why i'm using 18 inches is because the net will be the 19 the net will be the actual length i want this door face to be shorter than the net then the organza flower fabric i'm telling you about is going to be very short i hope you understand what i'm saying the, this door face is going to be one inch shorter than the actual length then the net is going to be the actual length then the organza flowered fabric i'll be using will be the sh very short one so right now i'm just marking my 18 the length is 18 but is up to the it's up to 60 inches 60 times to 120 inches because i'm going to be planting it So here is it so this is the flowered organza fabric i was telling you about so this is going to be the shortest one and it's going to get something like a triangle shape at the down part of it just a design and i'm going to show you how to achieve that so i'm i want to demonstrate how i folded this because I folded it off camera so I just folded the paper into two then I folded it like this again I hope you understand I'm going to do it again so that you understand what I'm saying this is it you fold it one then you just cross it like this that is how I folded this material Then since it's short, you're going to divide your waist. I'm going to cut it. Now I'm cutting it in a flay form. Why for the door face, I, I cut it in just a straight form. But this is going to be in a flay form. So for this, you're going to divide your waist measurement by 3.14. Your waist measurement by 3.14. And you're going to add like 10 inches or 15 inches allowance because you'll be planting it but it's not going to be as much as that of the door face so when you add that allowance of 10 inches or you can even do it like this your waist measurement plus 15 inches divided by 3.14 then you just cut you measure then you cut like this Then you measure the length you want to be using for it. So I would advise you to, let me say you're using and you want to use 15 inches as the length of this one. You're going to add like three inches allowance because you're going to be like making the design at the down part. That's the triangle design I told you about before so that is it i added some allowance to my own so that when i cut it's not going to be too short
so guys just a quick reminder please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe and please check out my other videos i have some interesting videos just check it out and see which one is going to be helpful to you So I'm just trimming to make sure that the lengths are equal because I don't want to have any situation where one won't be longer than one. So right now the next thing for us to do is to draw our triangle shape just look at what i'm doing i'm just drawing some, something like a triangle so i'm just using my free hand to draw but you you can actually measure maybe you measure at the peak there maybe you measure it to be three inches and you just do it for everything so that you just get an even design but i used a freehand for my and you can do so if you know what you're doing actually so here is it so i did the same thing for the net fabric for the net did the same thing for the net but not for the organza the organza i'm just going to fold it after planting the up i'm just going to fold it down and remember for the sorry for the doll face i mean the doll face remember we cut 120 inches 60 by 2 so we're just going to plant the doll face the upper part and the down part we're just going to fold it and just so but for this one we're going to be doing it like this and for the next two then you use your soldering iron to just place it on this triangle shape so that it shouldn't be removing will i say hair or ropes you get what i'm saying just place it there just for this organs i don't do it on the net so here is it i don't know if you can see it because the Organza is very transparent. So this is it for the organza. We're through with it. So we're just going to plant it a little to get our desired design. So here is the front part. I cut the same pattern on my organza fabric. So I'm going to use it and place it like this. Then I will cut another one of the doll face as my lining. But I won't be placing this organza at the back part. I'll be using only the doll face for the back. So here it is. For the back, I measured my dart. My dart, you just measure 3 inches. 3 inches is okay. 3 inches minus the zip allowance. Plus zip allowance is 4 minus the zip allowance is three inches then you measure half inches in between the three inches left and right measure half half then at the top come down one inch below your armhole then you just connect it with your line and just sew it so here is it. i've connected the front upper part of it and i added a I added a belt to it so for this organza i'm going to show you how to gather it i don't want to be planting this i just want a gather stitch if you have an industrial machine you can just use your industrial machine to make a gather stitch but i don't have that so i'll be using 
my needle and thread to make a gather stitch so you do it like this for all of them when you exhaust this organza when you exhaust the fabric then you now measure and make sure is is giving you the waist of your client so here is it. i've gathered everything so when i'm fixing it i will make sure my client's waist is 23 so i'll make sure it's 23 then i will fix it i will sew it this will be the first layer i'm going to sew this first then the next one after this will be the net then the last one will be the door face before i add my hard net then my lining so this that's how it's going to be so this is it I'm just making sure it's the waist of the child. I'm going to make a gather stitch with the net to I'm going to make a gather stitch just like this i'm going to do the same thing for the net for the net we are going to cut 20 inches one inches is for just for joining allowance because i'm going to hold i'm going to be joining the net with the upper part so i'm going to be losing some numbers there that's why i'm adding allowance to the net so that net when we cut the 20 we're going to do this triangular stuff we did for this organza fabric at the down part then we're going to do the same gather stitch for the net the net you can cut as i used i use i think i used three yards for it i used three yards for the net so i just cut 20 inches into four or five five pieces and i joined it with my sewing machine so i'm just taking my time to explain it for you so that you understand what i did but i'm going to show you a brief video on that so that's it so i'm just pinning this down to get an accurate measurement and it's that, so that's going to be easy for me to sew when i'm sewing it so i'm just going to join it with a straight stitch so this is the net i've cut it into some pieces i think four four pieces then i'm going to join it i'm going to join all of them together so here is it i minus my 10 then i measured it so it's 20 inches if you check so i cut it okay into four pieces so i'm going to join it together to form a very long long material fabric to so that's what i did and that is what you're supposed to do so here it is I told you I made the gather stitch with my needle and thread. So here is the gather stitches. And I'm just going to place it on top just the way you saw. Like I placed the organza fabric. I'm going to do the same thing and just place it. Then the next one we're going to do is for the door face. The door face, we're not going to gather it. We're just going to make plinting so here is it this is the third layer so after you join this the next thing for you to do is to add your hard net your hard net they put it in already made um gown so that's what you're going to do then the next thing is to add your lining all of this should be very short so that it won't be showing at the down of your dress so here's the final look of the dress as you can see the net the soft net is longer than everything it's longer than the door face and 
is longer than the organza so i added some beads to it you can achieve this by using your candle gum to add this beads to it so here is it i hope you enjoy it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe bye